<laughs> Why? That's Rick Perry on the phone. Just a reminder, he's the head of the energy department. Hello. Howdy ho, peoples of Earth and assorted American colonies. <laughs> Just for future preference, Jimmy D, the proper enunciation of energy is Arnergy, <laughs> Department of Arnergy. In other words, it's the Department of Eve, not the Department of Steve. You know, I think you uh, <laughs> you might be mixing up your expressions there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, that's for you to think and me to find out. For I am a free spirit, Jimmy. I live by my own set of rules. I suppose if my life could be summarized in music, it would probably be the synthesizer part in Van Halen's jump. <laughs> because I feel like I might as well jump right now. And you ask, how, why? <laughs> Please tell us, Rick. For I, under the aegists of the compartment of energy, have rebranded America's vast stores of methane as, hold your breath, Freedom gas. <laughs> Freedom gas? Bow your head and give thanks to your maker, heathens, for Americans are passing their gas along to you. What uh, What has been the reaction to your freedom gas, Rick? There's been a lot of blowback, but that's only natural. I am confident that it won't be long before we're all under the same tent with my freedom gas. How did you even come up with the name Freedom Gas? I was given a briefing in Brussels about our liquor-fried natural gas exports, and I compared it to D-Day. I said the United States is again delivering a form of freedom to the European continent. Y yes? And a reporter person asked me if these exports could be described as freedom gas. So naturally, I took the bait, and I said, yes, I will describe them as freedom gas. <laughs> wow. <laughs> yes, Jimmy, I was surprised, but I couldn't help myself. As you know, I've never been too shy to let one rip for freedom. <laughs> so you're not worried about the effects of burning fossil fuel uh, will have on your health? On the contrary, the Trump administration is committed to making fossil fuels cleaner. And the only way to do that is to get it all out of the ground where it gets dirty with the dirt. You have all that oil and stuff sitting underground for millions of years. And of course, you're going to get your backyard all oily. Get real. <laughs> so what's your solution for climate change, Rick? Let me answer your question with another question. Jeez. Don't retaliate. <laughs> innovate. Yeah, that's not a question. <laughs> Whoops. Don't retaliate. Innovate. <laughs> Can you explain that more in detail, Rick? I would like to, but then I might have people in the White House notice me. And you can't have that in Washington, D.C. You're practically invisible. What do you do for fun in Washington, D.C. anyway? I like to take walks. There's a big old park uh, with lots and lots of stones with writing on them. It, the Arlington Cemetery? <laughs> oh, this place has lots of dead people there, and they appear to be buried. It's all very well kept up. Yeah, it's the Arlington Cemetery, Rick. <laughs> Close, but this place has an infernal flame. I'm very interested in that infernal flame, because why? Because if our science missions can discover where that energy source comes from, perhaps once upon a time the state of America may harness said energy for going to the moon with. Or one of our lesser satellites, like Venus, if you will. <laughs> All right. Well, until that day comes, Rick, can you give people any tips on how to conserve energy? Yes, become energy secretary. That's the best way to avoid work. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we just added St. Louis and Honolulu to our live tour schedule. Go to jimmydorecomedy.com for a link for all the tickets for all our live shows. We might be coming to your town. Go check right now at jimmydorecomedy.com. And if you like the show and want to support it, become a premium member. You can become a patron or through PayPal or go right to jimmydorecomedy.com and become a premium member. That's the best way. We'll see you at a live show.